Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and home crafts. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram at The Scraftworks for more sneak peeks and ongoing projects. I'm starting to mix in the liquid oils into the melted solid oils. This is the first time for me to join the Soap Challenge Club. I've seen many beautiful and interesting soap designs on Instagram and YouTube created for the soap challenges in the past, and I'm very excited to take part in this challenge this month. Now we're mixing the lye solution at room temperature, and then stick blend until trace. I am adding my essential oil blend that is anchored with kaolin clay. I am using an essential oil blend of rosemary, orange and patchouli. I'm aiming for a white base soap for the soap embroidery design and now I'm colouring the soap with titanium dioxide. Stick blend to fully incorporate and I'm aiming for a light to medium trace to reduce air bubbles. Now I'm assembling the cylindrical soap mold, making sure that no soap will seep out. And then pour the batter into the mold. Pouring it on the spatula will help to prevent air bubbles. Release any air bubbles by tapping the mold onto the table. Unmold the soap after 2 to 3 days. Clean up any uneven edges as necessary. Now it's time to cut the soap. The bottom end of the soap will also need some beveling to clean up. Now we've got 8 pieces of soap ready for brush embroidery. Now I'm making the soap for the brush embroidery design. After pouring the lye solution into the oils at room temperature, stick blend until trace. It is important to soap at lower temperatures so that the soap doesn't heat up and you have longer time to play with it. I wanted my brush embroidery design to be bluish grey, so I've added some indigo powder, mixed in sunflower oil, and a little bit of charcoal mixed in sunflower oil as well. Stick blend to fully incorporate the colour. I stick blend to a light to medium trace and left it to set. While waiting for the soap to set, I've set up my piping bag into a cup making it easier to pour the soap in. It is actually easier to work with smaller portions of soap in a smaller piping bag. If you have larger piping bags like me, you can cut the opening side of the piping bag, making it smaller and making it easier to hold. This texture is just about right and now I'm preparing to transfer it into my piping bag. I then cut the tip of the piping bag after transferring of the soap. This is the inspiration photo of my embroidery design. Before I start the brush embroidery, I'm marking the center of the soap using my brush. Then I started piping a circle around the dot, but then I found the piping to be too messy so I wiped it off and started again. I think that this is the best texture for the soap embroidery. But then I think I've made too big of an opening for the piping bag. And I found it difficult to pipe even portions out of the piping bag. Then I transferred the soap to a different piping bag and waited for the soap to set up a bit more. Then using a wet brush, drag the soap into the middle using the brush embroidery technique. Then I continue to pipe the flower using the same technique. Thank you. 
every now and then I use a toothpick to clean up any messiness. I actually brought two paint brushes for this soap embroidery design. But then as you can see, new brushes can shed. The best thing about this brush embroidery technique, you can always change your design around by using the brush or you can wipe it off with tissue paper. and then employing the same techniques, doing the same on the second soap. But then this time, I'll switch up the design a little bit. Here's the final look of the soap, right after steaming it. The colour wasn't what I expected, but still I like the results. What do you think? Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.